Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how to download and install the latest NetGuard for a Windows operating system. Right, so the first thing you've got to do is go and open the browser. So let's go and do that. All right, so I've opened the browser. In my case, it's Google Chrome. So the first thing we've got to do is go to the PowerShell website. So let's go and do that. Right, this is the home page of the PowerShell website. So the thing you have to do first is go across the top of these buttons along here until you get to the support page and then come down where it says download area and left click on the download area. So let's go and do that. Right, once you're in the download area, just locate the NetGuard for Windows. In this case, the latest NetGuard for Windows is this guy here. So let's go and do that by left clicking on him. All right, I'm now downloading NetGuard for Windows and you can see it down here in this taskbar. Now, because it will take a little bit of time to download, I'll just pause the video and come back when it's almost finished. Actually, while we're waiting for the uh, software to download, it is very important to note that it is quite crucial that you have your Windows operating system up to date. Uh, it, uh, so please check that uh, if you have any updates that require to be done um, or you're not current, please update your Windows operating system. That goes in a long way of sorting out a lot of the issues with NetGuard. Okay, now we're just coming up on the end of the download, so I've rejoined the video and we're on two seconds, one second, zero seconds. Okay, and we're done. Okay, so once you've downloaded, you'll be greeted by this little message here in the taskbar asking you, do you want to discard or do you want to keep it? Well, because we want to install NetGuard for Windows, we want to keep it. So let's just go over here, left click on this little arrow and select keep. Once you've done that, then you re click this arrow and this time we want to open it. So let's click, let's left click on him. So we'll do that. Now I'll just drop the browser in the background. So put him here. So now in my case, my preferred uh, <clears throat> extraction tool has just pops up and you'll have your own extraction tools on your system. But essentially all I need to do here is to left click on the install app for NetGuard. So I'll do that by clicking on him. Okay. And that will start the extraction process. So we'll just wait for that. So install anywhere is now preparing the install. So 50%, 70%, 75. Almost done. Okay, so install anywhere is almost done. Okay, now we've reached the what I call the NetGuard install proper section. So basically the idea here is not to be too brave and just simply follow all the defaults. So the first question is, do we want English? In my case, it's okay, so I'll click okay. Then I'll be greeted by this introduction window, basically just telling me, do I want to install NetGuard? And I say yes, so let's click next. So let's do that. Let's go with the default folder to load in so we don't run into problems with illegal file names for the folder section so let's do that click that next and let's start the install so click install while that's happening i can drop out of the extraction tool now because we're done with him and just let netguard do its thing as i said earlier uh, it is very important to make sure that your windows operating system is up to date so if you've let it go for a while, generally it's a, it's a pretty good idea to make sure that all your updates are current so that you don't get any um, surprises when installing that guard for the first time. Generally it's pretty good, but it's, it's just good practice to keep your Windows system updated. All right, so we're almost there with that guard. All right, it's configuring the system. It might take a moment. And we're done. So NetGuard is now installed on my Windows 7 operating system. So I'll click done. 
Now, the moment I do that, you'll notice down here in the taskbar that NetGuard will install itself, an icon there, and it also installs an icon on the desktop. So I can just drag this guy down here, I mean, just so you're aware that it's there. And the NetGuard message window will also pop up on the desktop, essentially telling you that communication has now been established between the, U the USB port and the NetGuard and the PowerShield UPS. Now, you'll also notice that this icon has a little circle in there that is recirculates round and round. If you see that recirculating, that's an indicator that communications is is established with the PowerShield UPS and that's confirmed by this message window saying communications is established. So let's go down to the icon in the taskbar, right click on it, you'll see this, the monitor started because the start monitor has been greyed out and it's been ticked. So all we need to do is left click on open monitor, so let's do that and the default browser will open up and I can go to full browser, there we go. And in this case, it is um, you're presented with the power flow uh, through the UPS, showing in this direction uh, as indicated. And in this case, it's a PowerShell Safeguard 750 with one battery. So there you have it. Very easy installation process to download and install for Windows operating system. Thank you very much for watching this video.